For this video, I am working off of 07 shifting weight die AEP inside the chapter three work files folder. So if you're following along with my files, feel free to open this up. What we want to do now is go back to each pose that we have created and add some shifting weight to the movements to help make the cycle look less rigid. So let's go back to frame zero. That is our first pose. And we can select the puppet under red thunder separated. You can use E on the keyboard to bring up the puppet to gain access to the pins and the meshes. And I want to use the selection tool for this part. And we're just going to start now. We'll leave the legs as is for right now, but I'm going to bring my neck down. So we'll come in and I'll bring the neck down a little bit like so. Come up like this and I'll situate my head so it stays straight like this. And because we are creating a dip, basically he's dipping down during this pose, I want to raise my hair up. That way it looks like the hair is trying to catch up to what's going on with the animation. So we can go like that. And the same goes for the antenna. We can even kind of raise that up a little bit just to add a little bit of emphasis to it. Moving down, taking a look at the body here, I think I have a good angle for this. So all I need to do here is recorrect the arms because you can see we had some movements take place. So now we need to make those adjustments. We're just going to make sure that the back arm isn't exposed at the top there. And we can bring everything down. And because the arm is moving forward now, I can bring the hand in a little bit so it doesn't look like it's too stretched out. So something like that should work. And if I zoom out here, things are looking pretty good. And actually I might just bring the antenna over a little bit to the left like that. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. The last thing I want to do with this pose, I'll take the puppet pin tool, select all of my pins above the knees. So everything above the knees. And we're just going to click on a pin and we're going to lower the pose just a little bit. So about right there. And we're going to come in and bend our knees. So we can bend that knee up and we can bend that knee down. So now you have something that looks sort of like this. And again, keep in mind, we're doing a very emphasized walk. It's very exaggerated. So if you want something more subtle, feel free to make those adjustments. What I'm going to do now is advance to the next pose on frame six. And we're basically going to do the opposite of what we just did. I'll take the puppet pin tool, command P or control P if you're on Windows. I'll come in and grab everything below the knees. And you can see I have the back knee selected. I'm just going to hold and shift and click on that pin to deselect it. And now using my pins, once again, I'm going to just move everything up a little bit. And readjust the hair. So the hair will go in the opposite direction of where it went before. So it was going up, now it's gonna go down. We're also going to move the antenna down a little bit. Let's kind of crunch it in. And then we're going to do some adjustments with the angle of the body. So I'll come in here and starting with the middle of the torso, I'm just going to bring it back like so. And I can bring this part back a bit as well. But once again, we're going to make sure we get the head adjusted appropriately. And we also have to come in and adjust our legs now once we've made these changes. So I'm just going to come in and quickly bring those changes down like so. And we got to work with the arms as well. Make sure we just bring that back like that. Come up and it's looking like this. So that is looking pretty good. 
if we were to page back and forth, we can see that it's starting to take shape. Let's now advance to frame 12, and we're going to repeat the steps from the first pose. I'm just going to zoom in. I can move my torso down like this, along with the body. Bring the head in. Bring the hair up a bit. Bring my antenna over just a little bit like that. Reconnect the arms. So something like that. And then we're going to take the puppet pin tool, select everything above the knees, and then lower it a little bit. And then we will bend the knees. To create the proper effect. If we go back to frame one and make a comparison, we can see that the posture is similar and that is what we want. I can also see on frame one, we also have a glitch with the front leg. So while I'm looking at that, I'm just going to pop back in here really quick and make that correction. So we can just bring the leg over like so, and there we go. So now it looks like this and we are getting close. Of course, the legs are a little bit off, and those are corrections we can make as we continue here. So we'll go to frame 18, and we're just going to duplicate what we did on frame 6. So for the second high pose, we're just going to come in, select all of our pins above the knees, so we'll make sure we deselect that knee point we can bring things up a little bit. Grab the puppet, bring that down, bring the antenna down a little bit. Come in here and I'm just going to scoot everything back like this. And then I can work with the arms. And I can bring this point down to reattach to the pelvis. And we might still have some issues with the leg here, but we can make those corrections later as we go. The final thing we need to do is copy and paste frame one over to frame 24 or one second in to make sure that everything is complete for the loop. So we'll click on red thunder separated, hit U to bring up the keys. I'll hit the tilde key to bring up the full timeline. And I'm just going to come in, copy all of these keys, and then paste them over to one second in. Hit the tilde key and come back, and we can now see what this looks like. So if I were to back up and play this, you can see we have something that is pretty close. We have some issues with the pelvis and the legs, but we do have the basic foundation here. So we're going to pause the video, and up next, we'll concentrate on polishing and correcting the walk cycle.